The perfect length of time for one of my keynotes is an hour-ish. Um, there's always an ish on there because I never do the same presentation exactly. So um, an hour is great. An hour, an hour five or so is even better. Uh, people say, can you do a shorter one? Yes, I can, um, but I have to cut out some, some pretty key pieces of content. It's all good. I will make it work. I think the shortest one I've done is 30 minutes. I do some 45 minute ones, but an hour is best. We can also go more than an hour. Uh, I love having an hour and a half actually, because then I can get to all of the eight essential elements of human synergy. When I have an hour, uh, you and I kind of decide the key five or six that I can get to. When I have a little bit more than an hour, I can probably do all eight essential elements of human synergy. Also, if I have a little bit more time or you have a little bit more time to give me, uh, we can do some tabletop games, some more interactive things between, um, between team members. And if you have a lot of time, we can do a team building adventure. So what works great is I do a keynote for the first hour and then we go outside and we either do a rotation of kind of fun team challenges or in a lot of cases I come to your hotel in advance and I set up um, you know, what I call an amazing adventure race where people go around the area in and around the hotel and it's about getting answers to questions and certain photos and seeing how many points they can get for their team at the end of the day. And when I say team, it's a matter of what their definition of team is, right? So some teams will go out and they start competing against the other teams and they won't share their answers or share their photos or share answers to the questions. And at the end of the day, we find out how many points the team got. And that's the moment where people discover, oh my gosh, if we had shared our answers, if we had, if we had gotten together and realized no one team can get through this entire course in the hour or two hours or three hours that we have. And if we had just collaborated, we could have gotten all the answers to the questions and, and all of us could have succeeded. It kind of drives home the point of the keynote. So that's another fun thing to do. Uh, the next level on top of that in terms of a team building challenge is uh, even going to a remote location. I've done adventures uh, as far away as Costa Rica for people where they actually want me to create a mini eco challenge for their team and it's so much fun. Or other corporations have sent um, some of their leadership team on one of our pre-existing Project Athena adventures as a team building adventure for their, for their top leadership. So on top of the keynote, there are a lot of other things that we can do to drive the points of the keynote home that allows your team to get physically involved and also to, um, to really increase their vision of, of who is really on their team and how to get superior results. When you consider all those people your teammates instead of your competitors, that's where the magic happens.